Welcome back guys, so today a legend has returned. Dwayne Hurst, the retro pie theme making god himself, has momentarily stepped out of retirement to grace us with some awesome new retro pie themes. So today we're going to take a quick look at each one of them and explain how you can go about downloading them and using them immediately. So Dwayne is definitely a legend in this community. He currently has 36 themes available on Emulation Station. That's a record, seriously a record there. He has the most themes available on Emulation Station out of any theme maker. Just flipping crazy. I used to say, you know, he's he's dropping a theme like every other day and it's... He went into retirement and then he, he kind of peeked his head back out and tossed these four new themes at us. And I'm, I'm definitely grateful. I think they're pretty awesome, so... You know, if there was a, a Retro Pie Hall of Fame, he'd definitely be among the first to be inducted. You know, but enough praise. You know, we can't just continually praise the man, even though he's awesome. We gotta get down to business and just look at these awesome ass themes. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one and explain how you can download them and install them. So the first one we have up is actually gonna be my favorite. I wanted to get my favorite out of the way first. All of these themes, there's four of them all together that he just had uploaded to the Emulation Station theme gallery. But this one in particular is definitely my favorite. I just love, I really love the look of it. It's simple, it's not too busy, it's not crazy. Everything has its own unique style to it for each system. I mean, what more could you want? It's Everything's very easily identifiable. Very colorful with, you know, the, the icons for each system. You got characters and then the logo for the actual system. I, I really dig that. I mean, that, that works for me. That's that's perfect, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you go into a system, it's a pretty basic view here. You do have your game list on the left. On the right, you have whatever system it is represented with the character art and the system logo. And then on the right of that, you have whatever game, if you have the logos on your system. So. Pretty sweet stuff. I definitely dig the appeal to that. I have it set up with my box art transition into video. And I think it works. Looks pretty good. Can't really complain. And like I said, for some reason, this, this one really is my favorite at the moment. Uh, top favorite out of, you know, all the themes that are out there. This is one that's going to stay on my personal build. Something I'm, I'm currently working on right now. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this theme because I really dig it. You know, Emulation Station is definitely a sweet front end to use, very simple and basic, and all the updates that we have gotten for Emulation Station, especially over the past year, have really made it, you know, the, the, the front end to use, in my opinion, on RetroPie. You know, we can use attract mode and, and whatnot, but I, I really think Emulation Station does what I need, so... This is my favorite here. Let's go ahead and jump into how you can go ahead and download these before we peep out the rest of them. So depending upon what RetroPie version you're on, you may need to do some updates. Nothing major, but really quick, all you need to do is go down the RetroPie setup. Once you're in RetroPie setup, what you're gonna wanna do is update the RetroPie setup script. This is just the basics. You can update everything if you want. Me, personally, I, I don't ever update everything unless I know there's a specific update I need. But I just update the RetroPie setup script. So you can update that. And then once that updates, go to Manage Packages, Core Packages, and then Update Emulation Station. That's the basics. That's what I do each time. I don't update anything else because I don't want to... You know, I, I don't want to blindly update emulators and stuff like that and lose, you know, like compatibility with arcade stuff. So that's just me. If I'm looking for new themes, that's what I do. RetroPie setup and then update emulation station. And when I update emulation station, I just update from binary and I'm typically good. So once you have all that done, pretty simple. From there, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the ES themes gallery. And that's also going to be in your RetroPie configuration, whatever your theme describes it as, RetroPie setup, configuration, options, wh whatever it's called. You know what I'm talking about. It has all these options in here, or most of them anyway. This has a bunch of scripts, but then we're going to go to ES themes. Once you're in ES themes, you have tons of options here. Bunch of different, you know, theme makers with a lot of awesome different themes in here. 
there's tons of them, really. It's it's pretty cool to go through here and peep them out occasionally. Uh, you know, there's a couple people I really pay attention to. And that's Dwayne Hurst and um, Phil's Doodles. Haven't had anything from Phil in a little while, but he does have some stuff on here that are definitely awesome. Top favorites for me. But you're going to look for, you know, for these specific themes that we're looking at today, Retro Hursty 69. And you're going to see all his classics that he had put up. A bunch of amazing ones. Card Crazy is flipping awesome. Um, Comic Crazy. There, he has tons of them. Really tons of them. A bunch of tribute themes. Uh, you're going to scroll down. Like I said, he has 36 themes on this bad boy. Flipping nuts. You're going to scroll down to the bottom here and you'll see his new newer ones. So the ones we're looking at today is Cab Snazzy. Garfieldism, Halloween Special, which I actually really like that one too. Hey Chromie, and Homerism. Homerism's one of my favorites out of the new ones he put up. Uh, you know, he does do kind of themed themes, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and some of them are pretty cool. Definitely a flavor for everybody out there. Uh, you'll find something you like looking through Dwayne's stuff. So download them through here. Um, if he updates stuff, you can go through and, and update. Like if he adds a system that was missing or whatever, you can go ahead and, you know, either uninstall or update the theme. And that goes for any theme that's on here if you need to take a look at that. So that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and continue peeping these other themes out. So let's do it. Okay, so next up is Cab Snazzy. Pretty sweet little arcade machines that change with the system you select. Little dude standing in front playing some games. I think it looks pretty neat. Still my favorite was the previous, the uh, the Hey Chromie. Pretty awesome. This one, very similar. You have the same wheel icons for the systems. Go into the system, you got a nice little synth wave style arcade machine with your video snap playing in the, the middle screen of the arcade machine. Pretty cool, very easily readable text, you know, font for the uh, the games that you select. Always goes all out, making sure there's tons of compatibility, tons of systems available for each of these themes. This one's no different, so hey, if this one interests you, Cab Snazzy, that's what it's about. Peep it out. So let's go ahead and check out the next one. So next up is one that I call kind of like a, a specialty theme, you know. It's a Garfield theme. So Dwayne has done several, you know, similar ones like this where they're kind of specialized to specific interests, you know what I mean? Not everybody's going to like Garfield. I mean, what kind of what kind of person are you if you don't like Garfield? No, I'm just kidding, guys, but you know how it is. Taste is subjective, so if you're not a Garfield fan, I don't expect you to like this theme, but if you are a Garfield fan, hey, you might dig this and put it in your rotation. I think it's pretty cool. You got a little retro-style TV, you know, cartoon-style TV with your splash screens playing. You know, whatever Garfield's thinking, that's the system you select. I think it's really a cool little theme, uh, definitely for those fans of Garfield. I'm glad he used the uh, the old style Garfield, not the uh, the CG one. Come on now, seriously, what the heck's that all about? Everything's got to be CG nowadays, right? Hey, but if you're into Garfield, this is the one for you. Peep it out. So let's go ahead and check out another one. Let's do it. So here we go, another cartoon-based theme. Homerism. I think this one is actually really cool looking at it. You know, it's similar to the Garfield one, right? You're, if you like if you like Homer Simpson, if you like The Simpsons, you most likely will dig this theme. Similarities, you know, between the two. You got the little cartoon TV with your snaps playing in the middle of the, the screen. Pretty cool stuff. Everything's easily readable, very, you know, identifiable on what you need to do, where you need to go, that kind of thing. I think it's cool. Uh, maybe he'll do a theme similar to this using uh, the characters from Disenchantment, maybe? I've been kind of stuck on that. I, I kind of kind of thought that was a pretty cool little cartoon on Netflix. Kind of took me a moment to get into, but after I watched the first couple episodes, I was like, you know what? This is pretty cool. So, hey, little uh, recommendation there, suggestion. Disenchantment theme might be pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and peep out the final one. Let's do it. So here it is, the final new theme that Dwayne has put up, a Halloween special theme. I kind of dig this. I, I really do. I see a lot of uh, uses for this. I mean, if you're into Halloween like I am, it's, it's going to be pretty dope. I got married on Halloween. Halloween's one of our favorite holidays, so 
I definitely dig anything Halloween themed, and this one, definitely I dig. I could see using this for, you know, seasonal purposes. You know, he does have like a Christmas theme and stuff like that. And I think putting these kind of things in rotation for the holidays, especially if you have parties and get together, stuff like that. Maybe have, a, you know, your retro pie set up on, you know, for a Halloween party or during that time with this theme. I, I think that's pretty cool, you know what I mean? It, it fits the, the setting, you know what I'm saying? I, I dig the way the, uh, the backgrounds look, the font, having that little spooky font to it. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what the font's called. I'm going to dig into it, though. I'm going to rip that font. I'm going to use that for some stuff. But definitely cool. Love the backgrounds. You know, a little spooky Mario back there. Little Goombas hanging out with the pumpkins and the trees. Really cool background. So, if you guys are interested, these themes are available now. I'm really digging them. Especially the, uh, the Hey Chromie and this Halloween one. Out of the four, if I had to pick two, it would be those two. I really like the other ones as well. The Homer one's pretty cool. Like I said, maybe get a Disenchantment one going. That would be sweet. But hey, if you want to peep these out, they're available now. Go check them out. Appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Do all that cool stuff. It means the world to me. And hey, we really do appreciate what you do, Dwayne Hurst. These are awesome, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Boom.